this is one of the videos which shows the lint detection capabilities of a computer using OpenCV and computer vision. So we'll be actually discussing all those things in the future videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Robosense. So today we'll be discussing about Ping Z2's web interface. So it runs on Samba OS. So it actually in enables this processor to interface with the PC which is which it has been connected with. So whatever files you have on the PC, it can be totally you know interfaced with the processor. That means uh, this Ping Z2's micro SD card can be used as a storage device and the files on your computer on which you have been opening this Jupyter notebook. So you can actually take all the files and put it on the SD card and then later use on from that SD card. So there is uh, this type of facilities which are available. So you just need to go to the Jupyter Notebooks UI. If we do this, so we got to, you know, open the term uh, open the interface of the Jupyter notebook so you can see this is the these are the files which are actually loaded on the SD card so if we want to upload more files we can do that by just clicking on upload and clicking on upload it just shows you know all the files everywhere so just if I go to any of the parts and just you know put any of the files it will upload that thing like we want to you know uh, upload a video file just click on open and it says that the file is 37 mb we want to upload it so the file is actually large because as compared to all the text files or all the code files which are uh, basically on the uh, resolution of kbs and mbs it is quite large so no problem we just uh, we can just upload it so it is showing another option to upload we'll do that and it is uploading you can see Okay, so you can see that uh, the file uh, is actually uh, uploaded and we can actually open that file and we can see all the contents there also. So this is very easy. Hey, what's up guys, Chris Trini here for Chris. So this is one of the videos I downloaded from YouTube and uh, that is why I'm showing you. Now, so guys, like there are very, uh, there are many more predefined functions and predefined codes which are already installed on this uh, Ping Z2's SD card and it is on the you know web UI so you can uh, access to you can get access to all those things and in the next video we'll be talking about uh, the Raspberry Pi connector and the Arduino connector on the Ping Z2's board so these are the GPIO pins which are which can be uh, controlled by some of the tools which are actually available on Ping Z2. And uh, just giving a hint is uh, it is actually called micro uh, micro blades. So those are some of the tools we'll be using in the next video to interface Arduino's capability on Ping Z2 and Raspberry Pi as well. So just like this is one of the uh, files. I will have to show you this uses OpenCV. This is one of the videos which shows the lint detection capabilities of a computer using OpenCV and computer vision. So we'll be actually discussing all those things in the future videos uh, using this Ping Z2's powerful F FPGA processor. So 
stay tuned for more videos and this is the one of the uh, premier facilities in pingz you can do all the th all these things very easily and so these are one uh, these are all the components we i have shown to you and uh, any type of file can be uploaded here uh, no uh, it doesn't matter which type of extension it has so like if you click on this python 3 you get this just you have to write anything and then it ha it has to run new if i click on python 3 then it will open our jupyter notebooks work area so here you can use anything if i type equal to 5 and if i type b equal to 6 if i type c equal to a plus b and if i type print c so here here you get to see that the value of c is 11 and these are the these are the some of the basic functionalities and some of the basic maths which can be done on jupyter notebook so guys uh, there were many queries about uh, shutdown of this linux based system how to do these things so uh, guys it is very easy to do this uh, shutdown process so what have to do is you just have to type sudo shutdown now if you press on this uh, you will see that if i press on this i cannot uh, enter any more commands however if i put any of this key also it is not uh, doing any type of activity that means that the linux system is being shutting down so it has uh, closed all the processes for the best example is if you go to any of the part and, and i try to re reload the page it will not reload actually it will always try to you know search for connection so until and unless the uh, board is being again restarted it will not get to the uh, correct address therefore it will uh, forever uh, reload and this will show this type of sites so it is very safe to now wait for around 30 seconds and then switch off the power from your ping z to this board and uh, to see the launch actions to so see the launch codes and the launch process of your ping z to board you can connect it to the uh, usb cable and you can see that you can you can actually easily see all the files that have been loaded and all the codes that were running behind uh, on your uh, pc so using a software called putty you can easily see and you know uh, getting to the correct uh, ip at uh, uh, correct com port you can easily check out how this is done Thank you very much. So uh, these are the basic functionalities and for more information visit robosense.in and stay tuned to Robosense channel for more videos and more information. Thank you very much and do not forget to subscribe, share and comment down below for more information. Thank you very much.